Lost RV Park. And uh, it's just on the west side of town, uh, west side of Shadron. Highway 20 is right there. And uh, got a full boat here tonight, it looks like. Uh, the bathhouse is right here. And it's $10 a night. They have a laundry room, shower, and pretty good Wi Fi. I'm plugged in right there at that chair. And uh, the tenting area is right here. Put your tent right here. Shower house right here. And the old computer. So I'm leaving Shadron and uh, I ran into these two guys. Also bike touring for a long, long way. This is uh, Kevin and Jose. And uh, Kevin, you are bikeforgod.com. You, uh, you have trouble with this cross you're carrying? Well, it gets a little bit of wind deflection, but overall it's made of holy material, so oh, yeah. the wind goes through it. Very good. Um, it pushes me forward just as much as it holds me back on some days. <laughs> One of the things that's really cool is uh, bike4god.com, 48 states. But I have a modification here. Oh, yeah. Uh, the extrusion um, coming across the old style bob to hold up things. Got my guitar and these things here. Oh, very good. I have to good. put weight behind the axle of the, of the wheel. Yep. This is a shofar. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's really cool is I modified the, for the kickstand. Oh, uh, yeah, I like that. And, that is uh, good. It's just a PVC pipe and it holds the whole bike up and everything. Wow. So it's really actually pretty cool. Yeah. I found this, this design online, so if you do search Bob Kickstands, you'll, you'll find this design. But I found that this T-Lane works better than what they had on there. Okay. Very uh, good. It's really super, super light. And to tell you the truth, I've been using it for eight months, and I've had to fix it twice. So is it bomb-proof? No. But I tell you what, it's great to have a cool kickstand. How, how long have you been on the road? I've been on the road since October 15th. That's approximately seven months. Yep. And you've gone through how many states so far? I've done, this is my 28, over 8,000 miles. And you guys are trying to get to Ragbri. We're trying to get to Ragbri, and it's about 400 plus miles away, so we're trying to catch a ride to there awesome. and do a little bit of ministry work. Now, okay, whether good. we get there or not, that's cool. Awesome. I'm, I'm so glad to meet you. And Jose, you have a, uh, you have a blog. I do. And what's the title of your blog? JoseMerlos.wordpress.com. Okay, Jose Merlos, that wordpress.com, that will appear right here. And the right. link will be in the video description box. And you are actually writing for a charity. That's right, that's right. I was just going to say that it's going to be a, a water wealth in uh, Cameroon, Africa. So so you're, build, so you're raising money to build a water well in, in Cameroon. Africa, right, Absolutely. right. And awesome. uh, that's going to be uh, about 30 states. Okay, so how long have you been on the road? Uh, a little bit over a month. Okay, and Perfect. you're going to be doing 30 states, so all the way across and some. Boston, and then Atlantic Coast, yeah. and then the Gulf Coast. Awesome. Once and again, awesome. there's a possibility he's going to Argentina. Oh, man, that would be so incredible. You, I mean, you're talking about like, he's you talking about Mexico, uh, about Central America, all the way down to South Southern America. I'll tell you what, if I had my passport, I would go with you. If I had my passport, oh, I would. It. Yeah, I don't no, have it with me. I'm not leaving the U.S. until six months from now. You know what? I might go. I go. might go. And yeah. you probably and you probably speak Spanish. Uh, poquito. Oh, un poquito. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I do. That's okay. my first language. Okay, good. And uh, that would be so awesome. I would love to go to Ushaya. I've met six people. Who six are going. months from now, dude. If you decide to. Or anybody out there in YouTube land. Yeah. Like, six months from now, I want to cruise off with him. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Get back with Carter. Uh, six okay. months, six months. So yes, you'd be doing Central America in probably December? Uh, I want to say maybe February. Okay. February, yeah. March. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, I just want to take a second out and say thank you to both. Uh, Bikeforgod.com and Jose Merlos. WordPress. Dot com. Thank, you, Dave. Thank you, and safe travels to both of you. So I'm just uh, descending here out of uh, Shadron. The weather just could not be better for me. It's probably in the upper 60s. Uh, heavy overcast. A little bit of wind out of the northwest. And uh, I'm uh, the next town is uh, Crawford, which is uh, 22 miles to the west.
I guess I should have my helmet on, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the uh, turn off to uh, go up to uh, Hot Springs, which is 57 miles away. That's in South Dakota. And uh, it's 385. I'm not going to take that. I'm going straight on west. And, oh, got to go over some rumble strips. Uh, so I'm probably uh, seven miles outside of Shadron. And uh, the weather conditions just could not be better. Looks like uh, it's starting to break right here, though. And uh, the sun's about to pop out. Whoops. <laughs> but, uh... Where am I headed for? Uh, the guys that I met back in Shadron, uh, Jose and Kevin, um, came from the uh, west and they stayed at a town called Harrison. My original intention was to go into Wyoming today, to the town of Lusk, uh, but Harrison has free camping in the city park, so I think it's only 50 miles, so that's probably what I'm going to do. So, it uh, looks like I'm going to have some bright open sky and just perfect, perfect temperature right now. And uh, found a new flag. Found a new flag for the Bob. I think it's like the third one or fourth. It keeps blowing off. So, uh, somehow I keep finding new ones. Anyway, onward to Harrison. So I'm here uh, just on the outskirts of the town of Crawford, and I'm not going to stay here, but there is free overnight camping in the city park. I'm actually going to go down to the next town, which is uh, Harrison, but uh, if you wanted to uh, just come down and camp in uh, Crawford, it's free. And uh, see this uh, cool old uh, ranch behind me. And starting to get with a lot of uh, pine. And uh, Fort Robinson State Park should be right up here. I'm not going to stay there, but I'm sure it's as nice as Ponca State Park. But uh, you can see which direction the uh, wind is blowing. Uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's getting a little warm, but uh, it's nothing like it was last week. It's very low humidity, and I know all that high temperatures and that humidity has settled right over the East Coast. It's hot, <laughs> but out here it's nice and cool, and uh, te temperature's probably uh, in the 80s somewhere, and low humidity.
So I'm in Crawford, Nebraska. Didn't mean to spend the night here, but uh, for the second time on this trip, once in Texas, once in Nebraska, I got lost a little bit. And uh, here's why. 20 takes a, uh, th this is 20 that I'm on right here, but 20 takes a uh, 90 degree, whoops, 90 degree turn to the right. And uh, yesterday afternoon when I came through town, I just went straight through on this road. Basically, I just didn't get the memo. I didn't see the sign yesterday, and I needed to make a right. So I went up two, which takes you up way up high over a mountain and down the other side, and I got 20 miles away before I figured it out. And by then, it was like 5 o'clock. Five o'clock in the afternoon and about three hours of sunlight left. And there's nothing, that's like dead south, okay? So, I opted to uh, come back over the big mountain. <laughs> it was an extra 40 miles of practice riding. And I uh, just came back here to Crawford and camped in the town park. It was the best way to overcome the little navigational error that I had. So yeah, you need to keep your eyes open. Uh, and today I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go far. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go right to the border of Wyoming. And that's it, staying on Highway 20 to Wyoming, to the town of Harris, Harrisman, I think. I forget. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna take this right, right here. So this is uh, Fort Robinson, right outside the town of uh, Crawford. Uh, they do have, um, a uh, campground here, and uh, Fort Robinson was uh, an old army base back when America had a frontier, so it's quite old. Uh, they have all kinds of reenactments and uh, tours, museums and stuff. Uh, to be quite honest, um, I would consider staying here. I stayed in Crawford City Park last night, and uh, it was fine until about 1 o'clock in the morning when the sprinklers came on. And then uh, at uh, the trains that, there's just a lot of trains in uh, Crawford. So I just arrived here in Harrison, Nebraska, right on the uh, western, extreme western edge. And uh, this is the town park. The swimming pool is right there. And, uh, this this uh, building has bathrooms. There's water available. It's uh, free camping here in this city park. And I have already been warned that uh, to expect the sprinklers to come on. And I don't doubt it. This grass is very green around here. Uh, Harrison is a town of a population of 290. And uh, there ain't nothing in town. <laughs> so when you come here, bring everything you need. There's no gas station. On Sundays, I should say, not a single business in town is open. And they really don't have that much anyway. There's a hardware store and a saloon or a tavern. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, it's about one o'clock and this is where I was supposed to stay last night. So I'm just going to uh, call it a day here and sit in the shade and uh, read my book a little bit. Fortunately, I have, I probably, I'm stocking food now because uh, the wide open spaces and uh, there are places where there's not going to be anything for miles and miles, so I'm keeping a good stock of food and water, so I could probably go three days or more. And that's it, Harrison City Park. So the town of Harrison is uh, right down here. You can see it's really foggy today. Really foggy, but it's breaking out. It's starting to break out right here. I'm going to make Wyoming here in about five miles. And I'm um, very yellow today. <laughs> because I'm looking for high vis. You know, that's why I got the, uh, the blinkies going. But there's very, very, very little traffic. Of course, as soon as I say... Very little traffic. The car comes by to make the point that there is some traffic. 
But uh, Harrison, Nebraska, population 290, uh, nothing in town. So, or maybe there is, but not on Sundays. Uh, the town park, excellent, is free, water, bathrooms, and I actually got to shower at the swim pool. So, uh, you can't beat Harrison. And Wyoming in five miles. In the next uh, two or three miles, I'll be out of Nebraska. But you can see the uh, landscape here has changed, and you got these big, uh, probably sandstone, stabilized uh, sand dunes that are eroding out of just this awesome landscape. Yeah. It's like they're doing some work on uh, 20 right now. The shoulders are milled and they're laying, right now they're laying fresh asphalt. So eventually it's gonna be nice. But yeah, just wanna show, I really, I am a Western kind of person. I love the West, you know, especially when I, Idaho, I lived in Idaho for eight years and I'm looking so forward to uh, return and going through Idaho but uh, I'll be in Wyoming here in a couple minutes and I'm gonna pull the camera back out <laughs> and do another video but uh, I wish you, I know you probably couldn't hear that but a coyote just howled somewhere back there <laughs> library at Douglas, Wyoming. The shout out is to Around the World for Water. They have a YouTube channel. They're raising money to provide clean drinking water. So go check them out.